If you think you have depression, you could either be coping or lying. Now, if you've gone to therapist and you've been diagnosed, then that could be a different story. But I'm talking to you, self-diagnosed depression clowns. Hard truth, can't swallow, need a bartender. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't get offended by this because I used to be one. And where did that lead me? It led to me being a Percocet addict after getting out of the military. All because of a made up reality to get useless sympathy from others because I couldn't take accountability to take those minor setbacks that I have from the reality I was living in. I know I am coming off of an offensive tone if you're claiming to be self-diagnosed, but you need to hear from someone that went through the hardships you will go through. If you keep going down this path of delusion you're going through currently, you don't want to be a Percocet the addict that cuts themselves daily. Trust me, the grass is greener. When I tell you what you can do to combat these feelings of depression, you can get the things I have just as a normal fitness trainer. Things like fun with friends and family, and most importantly, great health. This is the type of stuff you just can't have at a grand level if you let any form of depression get to you. And as we get into this, this can be for any depressed person. If you are diagnosed, maybe you can try some of these things and get off therapy. Kind of like my editor Kuba got to. The first thing I would dial in is your health. Now, if you are depressed, chances are there is no middle ground for you. You could either be practically anorexic or a little fat. If you're in the middle, that's fine too. These things are fine if we can get you to take actionable steps to get you out of these poor level fitness levels. Obviously for all three, go to the gym or get some form of exercise in. Let's get that out of the way. If you want to learn how to effectively train in the gym, you can check out the video that I made. If you're on the skinnier side, get on that calorie surplus and pick up a fork. I would probably say the same thing if you aren't skinny or fat and you're in the middle, a calorie surplus would be the best thing for you as well. And if you're on the fatter side, you obviously cut. You obviously cut the amount of calories that you're currently consuming and you go to the gym. Get some cardio and this could be a few minutes of going running, walking, elliptical, Stairmaster, even a boxing bag. He could punch it and you could still lose fat. Want some food ideas? You could check out my full day of eating video if you want to copy some of my favorite meals for yourself. Now, what does this do for you? It gives your life a purpose. That's why I didn't want to start with chase your purpose because everybody, especially someone who could be a bit more sensitive, such as a self-diagnosed person, will say this is easier said than done. Well, fitness and getting healthier with the steps above can be your beginner purpose. Now, as you focus on your health, now you can slowly, without pressure, find something that you want your life to be centered around. Maybe this can be a simple career to advance in and make enough to start a beautiful family. Maybe this can be as far as starting a business. Maybe it doesn't even have to be money oriented as long as you have a career to put food on the table. Once you do these two, everything else comes along the way. You make friends from these purposes that you chase, starting from fitness all the way to moving down to your individual purpose you find that gives you fulfillment. If addiction is your root of cause of depression, I highly recommend you get my ebook. The link is in my description. Also, if you have any questions outside of depression and addiction, you're more than welcome to send me a DM on Instagram where you can also find the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. I appreciate y'all.